come fly with us as I take my wife up for the first time. I'm so proud of you. We're heading 37 nautical miles to Petaluma to hit up Two Niner Diner. Conquer Tower, Cessna, one, Cessna 941 Tango Whiskey holding short, runway 19 right, requesting a right downwind departure. For one thing, we can the fire room went on a right, clear for takeoff, your right downwind departure is proof. One nine or right, clear for takeoff, right downwind departure approved. Thank you so much. Nine for one tango whiskey. All right, here we go. Okay. So am I. I've been waiting so long for this moment. Part of me getting my certificate was just so we can travel, fly, and enjoy unique experience. What a blessing. Final is clear on this center line. Here we go. As we apply full power, I check to make sure the instruments are in the green and the airspeed is alive. We're gonna rotate 55 knots. 50. And there we go, 55, and we're up and off the ground. Pitch for 75. As some of you may have noticed, I recently got that new Bose A30 headset, and boy, is it a game changer. It definitely muffles the engine sound to where you can barely hear it. So I would definitely suggest doing your run up and your climb out with that noise canceling turned off just so you can hear if anything sounds off with that engine. I don't think my mic was plugged in correctly cause some of my audio from this flight is a mess. Without a doubt, this has gotta be the coolest hobby in the world. The blue sky. I couldn't agree more. The blue skies are awesome. Too bad it won't last the whole flight. I am keeping an eye on my airspeed, pitching for 75, but you catch me looking back at the runway to make sure I'm still on center line because we have a parallel runway. We live pretty darn close to the airport, so I'm pretty sure I can see my house from here, but I'm not gonna put up an arrow because I don't think I want any of you guys to come visit me. We will continue to climb out on our downwind, but when we reach 700 feet, we're going to start that right crosswind turn. <laughs> uh, out of you. Well, thank you for the journey. I really appreciate it. I know it was a lot on you because I spent a lot of time, one, working, and hey, two, training and studying and in this plane with all. Um, that was a lot of time where you're like, where is this fool? I want to hang Oh, wait, he's flying an airplane. How oh, awesome. But now you get to uh, reap some of the benefits. Yeah, I'm so proud stuff. of you. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. You should go over Amanda's house. Uh, right. Is this the Nisha right here? Yep. Okay. That's the bridge. That's Woo! A little bit through the clouds, little hills. Sorry, I didn't mean to... Oh, you're Shoot, if I didn't know I was on camera, I might have screamed too. Approach to the 941 Tango Whiskey, leaving Concord, requesting flight following to Petaluma. November 9041 Tango Whiskey, have approach. Transfer to 3013, stay tight there, Crash. Cessna 172, 941 Tango Whiskey. What was that? Yeah, three new airspace, is that why? Uh, I'm just requesting a flight follow so they'll look out for us and tell them so that if there's plans around us. And they're going to continue with people. Block 4251. 4251, 941, Tango Whiskey. That's 4 miles northwest of Concord Airport, chaos to climb to. We're going to stay here at about 1600 until we kind of get some clearance from these clouds. 941, Tango Whiskey. Tango Whiskey, Rex. So on my flying, we used to come, I told you we fly into Napa yeah. to uh, practice. So when we fly into Napa, we'd be higher, we'd come over the hills here. And if you look straight out there, um, you see the water. Yeah. If you look to the right of the water, you see the warehouses. Yeah. That airport is right there by those warehouses. Okay. You can kind of see like a long white building in the middle of the, the warehouses. That should be the tower right there. Okay. So we would go to the of my practice, or we would go to them. Uh, the top found with our six turn right heading 160, maintain 3000. Now that's on the final clear, our nav render was done. That was maintain 3000 to establish, 4 to establish, 1 out of 
uh, are not so far back. So we need to go there from the so we to read the Contact Oakland Center 127.89 for one second with you. Thank you. Open center says the 941 Tango Whiskey requesting flight following to Petaluma. For 941 Tango Whiskey, open uh, Roger. Hello, that's the check in of 23014. Can you say again for 941 Tango Whiskey? 941 Tango Whiskey, I'll 23014. 3014. 941 Tango Whiskey, thank you. Malibu 16 Yankee, top center 1,400. We have 335, 30.644. Understand that um, gets a little bumpy below 28. Uh, hold up, a couple at once. So, uh, Malibu, say again, you're crossing. Malibu 416 Yankee, the top four, my is that? 416 Yankee, Roger. And the United 375. Oakland Center was extremely busy. It was nonstop radio chatter. So, we're just going to jump ahead a little bit and get back to it. Number five, six, Max Cardio. Do have a Pretty low at 1,400 feet. Uh, it's a sky hot 1,400 feet going north, but. Uh, that's 941 Tango Whiskey. It's a sky hot at about 1,400 feet. Number five, six, Max Cardio. Did you copy the traffic? Yeah, I've got him on the screen. I'm just turning 10 to the right here. Yeah, I got contact now. Five, six. Roger. Number 941 Tango Whiskey traffic up to your left, 10 o'clock, about a mile, is a uh, region jet 2,700 mm map. I have it inside. Thank you so much. 941 Tango Whiskey. And the eye in the sky looking out once again. Coming up off the left wing in just a second, we found this really cool little private airstrip. How cool would that be? I'm sure this will make all the NorCal pilots think about Cameron Park, that really cool flying community just outside of Sacramento. Do you guys have any flying communities in your area? Let me know down below. And just like that, I've got 069 in sight, Petaluma Airport, just at the base of the hills, completely bald. 3728 Lima is turning downwind for 29, Petaluma. What time you got? 217. Oh. Hey, we're not gonna make it away. Oh, probably not. It's okay. We're at a local we can get food somewhere else. Two Niner Diner actually closes at 2.30. We've actually pushed our flight back a few times because the clouds didn't lift like they were supposed to. I'm explaining to Tay that we're going to fly over midfield, perform a teardrop, and enter on the 45 for the right downwind for runway 2 Niner. Paluma traffic, 2728 Lima is turning face for 29. Paluma traffic. This is a non-towered airport, so it was just pilots communicating with pilots. Paluma traffic. That's a 941 Tango Whiskey is flying over midfield at 1,500 feet. Just to get a look on the enter on a 45 for the downwind. I have you in sight on base. 941 Tango Whiskey. Yep, just over the road. Yeah. Perfect. I did. Awesome. I'm trying to help my Nairborn passenger, or as she calls herself, the pilot's wife, learn to look for traffic so she can be an extra set of eyes. That's a couple of my topics. We're descending into pattern altitude on our teardrop, shooting for 500 feet per minute because that's what's most comfortable for passengers. Both of my flight instructors actually stressed that point more than a few times. Make sure your passengers are comfortable. Do wait for the landing before you can. Tay asked a great question, and the answer is no. You can enter the pattern, but you don't want to be on the same leg as the traffic in front of you. Federal Luma traffic, 941 Tango Whiskey is making a 45 for the right downwind for runaway 2 Niner. Federal Luma. Landings are all about the setup. Pattern altitude here is at a thousand feet, so I'm dialing in my airspeed and my altitude to give myself a chance. 
I'm a beam the number, so I'm putting in the first notch of flaps. That's 10 degrees, and I'm pitching for 80 knots. When those numbers are 45 degrees diagonally behind us, we're gonna start that right turn onto base. Set a little bit of traffic, set the 941 Tango Whiskey is turning final for runway. If you look closely, you'll see that third notch of flaps coming on down. We're pitching for 65 and trying to get on that center line. Petaluma traffic, 941 Tango Whiskey is on final for runway 29er Petaluma. The angle of the nose is a little low, that means I'm a little fast, so I pull on back to slow down, get to 65, and let us descend at the right airspeed. So this actually wasn't a touch and go. Two Niner Diner was closed. We stopped, used the restroom real quick, but that's boring. So let's get back up in the sky. I'm still not too sure about this camera angle because it made me realize my head is big as hell. One thing of whiskey on every runway one on our right, change two runway one on our left, runway one on our left, clear to land. Wind currently calm, I'll come to 3013. One nine or left, clear to land. Nine for one tango with See the little tiny runway to the left of the lights. 3151. Uh, See the three lights? The one right to the left, that's where we're going. That runway right, does look tiny. So one niner right is actually twice the size of one niner left. 150 feet versus 75 feet. And there it is, bug guts on the camera. Rest in peace, little buddy. Is that the JSX right there? Yeah, I believe that's JSX. That's another one taking off. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. I'm on center line, my airspeed is good, I'm coming in to land, and I land flat so I bounce. Take a look at the windsock to my right. The wind direction changed to a tailwind and I was impatient, so I bounced. One thing with you, continue to Foxtrot, make the right turn there, cross runway one on the right, then contact ground point niner. All right, make the right turn on Foxtrot, cross runway one niner right, and contact ground on point niner. It looks like there was a fan out there watching planes land, but he was on an active taxiway and we had to wait for him to move. We are going to go a little bit wider than normal to avoid this jet because uh, my insurance will not cover that. I'm covered for about 250k or so. <laughs> that ain't it. <laughs> no, that ain't it at all. Damn. Strong parking job, sir. How was your first flight? It was freaking amazing. I loved it. Would you do it again? Oh, 100% yes. Thanks for flying with us. We appreciate it. It's been a blast. There will be much more to come, I promise. And it's gonna be fun. So tune back in. Appreciate you. Until another time. So, pilot life. Pilot wife life? We're gonna have to get Taylor on pair of flying eyes before we go up next. Make sure you tune into my next flight where I fly out to Auburn with a buddy. Hopefully I'm able to get my first $100 burger.